Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you something I recently worked on. This is a reenactment clip from a documentary I recently produced about my mom. Now, I've done some reenactment shooting before for my productions, but never, never on this scale. And to make matters worse, I had only two days to shoot this in ten different locations with sets, with a wardrobe, and I also had to deal with my actors, or working around my actors' schedules. Anyway, in this part of the story, my mom and her cousin ran away from home when my mom was only 15 years old. Now, this was in 1943. They hitchhiked from Salt Lake City, and they made their way through Nevada, through California, eventually ending up down in San Diego, leading up to this important scene. Um, my mom's cousin wanted to stop and, and take it easy and settle down and have some fun. Uh, but my mom was still very scared and wanted to keep moving. Um, her cousin, who had always followed her every other time that they disagreed, decided to stay put and they split up, leaving my mom all alone in San Diego. Here's the clip with, in its entirety with just the music though. There were several challenges in producing the reenactment scenes for this documentary. You know, chief among them was that the young woman who portrayed my mom is, is her also her granddaughter and my niece. She lives in Arizona, and I live in northwestern Illinois. This scene takes place in San Diego, where it rarely ever snows. Now, I wouldn't have access to her or any of the other actresses until January, where Illinois is usually covered with snow. And I also wanted to use some of the classic cars that are of that era, but as many of you may or may not know, most of the guys that own these vehicles do not drive them in the winter. So I, I knew right off that I was going to have to split up the elements of the scene and shoot the backdrops with the cars early before the weather got bad, and then shoot the acting talent in January uh, in front of a green screen, and then composite the two later. In order to make this work, I, I storyboarded this scene roughly detailing each shot and angle I wanted so I could do this right. I then shot the cars and background shots and saved them for later. I actually did this process for several different scenes, but this particular shot took the most work. Um, here is just the backdrops with the car shots. Now this has no color grading or editing other than just cutting to match the scene. Now, this may or may not pass for San Diego in the 1940s, but I thought that nearly every other large city that I've been in has an old section of town with mostly brick as the basis for their buildings, so I thought that this just might be safe using this, this location, which is kind of nondescript. It's located in downtown Freeport, Illinois. Now, I had to plan out the backdrop so that they would be placed behind the talent and pass for a city scene. Um, I had I ran out of usable shots, and so I had to reuse this parked car scene. I flipped it over and used it over and again. So now let's fast forward to January, when I had my actors available. So I shot them inside a very large room, in front of a green screen. And then I had to try matching everything together later. So here's the sequence again with just the actors in front of the green screen. Again, no editing here, just beyond basic cutting for the dialogue scene. You know, what I love about green screen work is that you don't have to worry about the room, the set, anything around them, since you basically are just going to isolate the talent and scale the footage to whatever size and location on the frame you want anyway. Um, most of the chroma keying you see was done right in Final Cut Pro 10. 
Now, in order to get the, the footage of the actresses to match the dolly tracking shot from the background backdrops, I had to do this in motion. Um, it's far from perfect, but it's okay. I also added shadows to the keyed actors, so it gave the illusion that they were actually there. If you want to see how this is done, watch this tutorial right here. Um, so here's a view with the raw background footage, the raw green screen footage, and the final composite all together. <laughs> As you can see, I added people in the car on the left and added highlight headlights on it so that the next shot would make sense of them driving off. And if I had been really smart, I would have had shot the Marines by themselves and moved them back further in the shot and silhouetted them. But because I didn't do this, I had to add shadows and motion to darken them in post because, well, they happen to be my two main male actors, and especially for other part in the documentary. And in this scene, they just were playing extras, so I needed to hide their faces. This took a long time to get right so that it would match the background and even then I, I really wasn't 100% happy with it. Now here's the final scene with audio, music, and narration. The Marines had a hotel and wanted to take them there. Betty told Chloe no, but Chloe insisted, but Betty didn't budge. Chloe, tired of always being on the move and not having much fun, turned and went with the Marines. Chloe had always followed me, and I'd walked a while and turned around, and she, she and the Marines were gone. I couldn't even see them. They, I never did see them again, you know. And I, then I was really scared. Now, I'm not going to go into detailed steps on how I composited everything. Uh, it would take over an hour to explain all the steps. But with the exception of matching the dolly tracking motion shots, um, the steps are basically the same as in the tutorial that I linked to earlier, just on a much, much larger scale uh, with a lot of moving backgrounds. You know, adding the shadows and matching them to the moving backdrops is probably one of the most difficult things I had to do. Uh, it's really difficult to get it right. Um, I did tons and tons, tons of, of different trials and errors on that. So anyway, I, I hope this has given you maybe some ideas of your own for your own productions. Um, perhaps opening up possibilities using a green screen to add some choices for shots that you normally wouldn't be able to make. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Um, there'll be more videos. I'll probably do some more tutorial videos coming up. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.